There are two ways to copy events in the Activity Management Event Management System. You can duplicate an event, which takes, which takes an event setup, which includes its facilities, its services, and its resources, and makes an exact copy of that event and moves it to another date. Or you can make an event recurring, which takes the event and makes it a copy of it on a certain day, week, month, or yearly pattern that you define. So we'll start first by making an event recurring. So I'm looking at my event calendar here, and I got this by going to Event Management, and then Month View, and I would like to make my Monday Night Poker Night a weekly occurrence. So what I will do is go into Edit the Event of Poker Night, and up along the top toolbar, there's a button called Recurrence. So what I'll do is click that, and the first thing it's being asked for is what is the recurrence pattern? So is it daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly? Daily, you have the option of doing every one day or every number of days as you choose, or you could do every weekday. Weekly, you can have it occur every one, two, three, four weeks on certain days of the week. Monthly, you can have it occur on the same day of every month or the same day of week. So for example, the first Monday of every one month. And yearly, you could have it again occur on the same day every year or the first day of week of a certain month. Once you've chosen your pattern, which in our case is every one week on Mondays, you can choose your recurrence range. So how long is this event going to recur before it stops? I don't recommend you put a very large number. So if this is an indefinite event, don't go in and put 9,999 because you can imagine to create that many events might freeze up your computer for a long time and take a long time to save. So maybe just do one year at a time. So let's say it'll end by maybe the end of this year, which is 2018, so we'll say December 31st. I'd like to make everything the same, so all of the services, resources, employees, tasks, everything set up in this event as it recurs needs to be repeated. So I'll go ahead and say OK, and then save and close. And this will save all of the bookings with the new recurrence pattern that we've created. And on my event calendar, I should now see a poker night on every Monday night. To make a copy of an event, but not have it copy on a certain pattern, what you can do is duplicate that event. So this would be, for example, an occurrence where somebody comes to you and says, I had a Christmas party at your club last year. It was great. I want the exact same thing this year on this specific date. So what you could do is go to event management and then event list, find the party that they were referring to, and then highlight it so it turns yellow. Up in the middle toolbar, you should have a button called Duplicate. So click on Duplicate, and it will pop up with this window. What it's asking me for here is what is the new start date of this event, which I could choose as per the date that they've chosen for me. And then what it has asked you for down below is this is the old facility. Do I want to copy this facility or do I want to create a new facility? So maybe I want to move from the ballroom to the patio, for example. I could duplicate everything about that event but change the facility from one to the other? Am I copying the services, the resources, and everything else set up in the event? You can check or uncheck what needs to be copied. And then just hit continue with duplication. This will create the exact same event on the new start date, including copying the services, the resources, and any other parameters that might have been set up for this event, except for, of course, payments and billing information.